After six days at sea, the lifeline finally came to dock at Valletta, but also to be impounded. The Maltese government says it is not registered as a search and rescue ship, has failed to obey the orders of the Italian Coast Guard, and often switched off its transponder to disguise its position, raising suspicion that the ship could be deliberately helping smugglers. The head of Mission Lifeline says Italian authorities opened the investigation against it and suspects political motives under the new anti-migration government in Rome because the Lifeline operated without problems last year. We uh, started in the last year and, and in September and um, we were starting here in Malta too. And uh, um, we, had a fi we had five missions with this boat last year and uh, rescued 549 people. For the 233 people from sub-Saharan countries on board, it was the end of an ordeal. Seven European Union members agreed to help Malta with their asylum claims. That agreement persuaded the Maltese government to allow the lifeline to dock. The lifeline's six-day odyssey ended here at Boiler Wharf. The refugees and migrants it carried will have their asylum interviews in Europe but authorities say this is an individual arrangement. There's no guarantee of safe harbor for future shiploads. Italy's refusal to accept search and rescue ships has opened a new rift in the EU. Its 27 leaders are broadly divided between two camps, those who believe in collective action and a growing insurgency that says the EU needs to push its defense outward, creating processing camps in Africa and the Middle East, allowing no one to cross these waters. Malta's premier says the hardliners are attempting to politicize a practical issue. What I think it is, is surely a situation where there were member states who showed that for them the values of European solidarity are not something to be found just in the treaties, but that we act together. But I don't think it's all about um, grandstanding and high-flying political uh, declarations. It's about how we act operationally and how we manage the situation. Solidarity is certainly what these Maltese teenagers have in mind when they think of Europe. I think they should be divided by different countries of the Europe so we don't have much coming in Malta because it is a small island. But not all European countries feel they're in the same boat. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Valletta.